Hey, this is Aflevavi from LookingRiff.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video we're going to learn a fingerstyle arrangement made especially for you guys and girls of the sound of silence. This is a pretty easy arrangement, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get your hands around it, but first let me play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen and everything. It goes like this. Okay, so you begin with B minor, okay? Put on a B minor chord and you pick strings three, two, and one. Each string twice, okay? G string twice, B string twice, E string twice, okay? And then you play an A chord and you pick the E string and the A string together. Okay? And then you have an entire bar to fill. Now we're gonna talk about filling the bars later after we learn the main melody, but that's the first phrase. Okay? It was B minor, and then it was A. Okay? And then you fill the bar. Then the next phrase is still on the A chord and you pick strings three, two, and one again. But you pick the third string twice, the second string twice, and then the first string and the second string. Okay, so it comes out like this. Okay? G string twice, B string twice, E string, B string. Then you put on the B minor chord again and you pick strings two and five, okay? The A and B strings. And you pull off your finger from three to two on the B string. So you take off this finger, okay? Pull it off, okay? Now from three to two means you uh, pull off this finger, the second finger, and you play the note of the barring finger. Okay? You're playing D to D flat. Okay? And the D flat is with your barring finger on the second fret. Okay? And then you play the G string. Okay? So you get this. Okay? And then you have the rest of the bar to fill which we'll save for later. So the second phrase is A, B minor. Okay, so... Got it? So the first two phrases, the first two lines. B minor, A, then A, B minor. Okay? Now when you fill the bar, after you play this, you uh, you put your second finger back on the third fret, on the D note on the B string, and you play a full B minor chord. You don't leave it open, you don't leave the, 
the second string on the second fret, making this a B sus2, you're playing B minor. Okay, so you play. Okay, you put your finger back on after you play this lick. Now, you're still on the B minor chord, and the next lick is this. Okay, so you play the G string twice, you play the B string twice, and then on the E string you play 2 and 5, so 2 is the barring finger, and then you put your pinky on 5 on the E string, so... Okay, G string twice, B string twice, E string 2, 5. Got it? Then comes this chord. Okay, this is kind of a piano G voicing. It's three on the E bass with your first finger and seven on the E string with your pinky. So it's a bit of a stretch if you're not used to it. But if you've been following my videos, you'll see that I use this chord a lot. So um, if you've been following my videos, you're probably used to this already. Okay, because this is kind of a, it's a beautiful voicing for G. It's very practical as well. So you play this. Okay, you pick strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, uh, E string on seven, open B and G strings, and three on the E bass, making this a G bass. So, and then the E string again, and then this voicing of D5. Okay, it's two on the G string with your second finger, uh, with your first finger. Two, uh, three on the second string with your second finger. Okay, two and three, just like in the D chord. Only you need the pinky for five on the E string. So you play five on the E string with your pinky, three on the B string with your second finger, and two on the G string with your first finger. Okay, pinky, second, first fingers and the open D note the open D bass uh, the D string the fourth string so um, you play this okay you play the chord but in rhythm it's kind of like this okay you play this seven and five and only then you play the chord Okay, it's kind of a syncope, it's, it's a syncopation, okay? You don't play, okay, because that's too strict. It's not the, the right rhythm. The right rhythm is this, okay, something like this. So you take the pinky from seven to five and you put on these two fingers. So you have enough time. Now the least you can do is play this and then play the bass, okay, so, or the chord. Okay, remember, notes first, chord second. So <clears throat> we had this, B minor, 2-5, piano G. D5, okay? So B minor, piano G, D5. Um, yeah. Okay? And then you play, um, you play kind of the same lick, only starting on the second string, because the you're in the D chord now, and it's kind of, if you play B minor, then it's bass is on the A string, so you have five strings, and on D, you have four strings. You kind of went down a string, up musically, down physically, so the lick goes down one string as well, or up if you're thinking pitch-wise. 
it's always confusing. So, okay, that's the next line. Now you're in this position, okay, so just bar the second fret with your finger, with your first finger, and play the second string twice, okay, then take the pinky off and play the first string on two, okay, you're barring it, and then put the pinky on again on five. So you have three on the second string, then two on the first string, then five on the first string with your pinky. So you're still on D and you're playing this. Okay, and then. Okay, so the chord is still ringing when you play the lick. And then you do this again. Okay? Again, the same piano G to D5 lick. Same thing. Piano G, then 7 and 5 on the E string with your pinky, and then the chord. Okay? The chord, the D5 chord. Okay? Same thing you played before. So the second, um, the second, the second D lick. Um, it's the fourth lick already. So it's this. So you're here and you're barring the second fret. G, D5 again. Okay? And then you're playing the, uh, the B string twice again. And then you play the G right away. Okay? And you fill the bar. You only play the E strings, the first and sixth strings. Okay, and then you fill the bar. So it's okay, you finish the previous leg. Okay, so it's it's the D note and then the piano G chord. So got it? That's the lick. Got it? Good. Now, uh, the next lick is this. Okay? Now, you're on G. Okay? And now you have to do this. Which is 7, 9, and 10 on the E string, all with your pinky. And when you play the 10, you pick strings 2, 3, and 4 along with it. Now you can pick them as a block and you can strum them, okay? Or you can play the D bass and then play them, okay? No, you don't have enough time to, to fill them in, so it's either a block or uh, strumming it. Okay, now what is this chord? This chord is simply a G over D chord. It's G over D. Why? Because these three strings, strings 2, 3, and 4, are a G chord. Okay, they're within the G chord. And this note is also within the G chord. You have a G voicing here. Okay, the A-shaped voicing, the bar, the A-shaped bar is on 10, so you have this note inside the E chord, uh, the E chord, the, the G chord on the E string as well. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a blend, a mix of both voicings. This voicing with a high note. Okay, so your bass note is the D note. It's the D string, so it's G over D. Okay? I hope I hope I explained it well. If not, you can rewind the video and follow it again. Um, all you need to know is that you harmonize 10 on the E string with strings 2, 3, and 4. Open. Okay, so... Okay? And then... Um, 10, 9, 7, 5. Okay, and now... Along with the five, 
with the A note, you play the entire D5 chord. So it's... Okay, because it falls right on the beat. So it was this. Got it? 7, 10, uh, 7, 9, 10 with the G over D chord. Then 10, 9, 7 and the D5 chord. And the high A note is your melody note. Okay, so... Okay, that's the line. Okay, got it? Now your next line is 5 slide to 7. Okay, on the E string. And then 5, 2. Okay, but there's a catch. When you play 2 on the E string, the F sharp note, you bar the 2nd fret because you need to prepare it for the B minor chord that's going to come in a second. So, bar. Okay? Your, um, your last note comes along with a bar and you pick the bass but let's wait with the bass. Okay, you pick the bass either along with it or right after it. Okay, or you can do the bass along with the note and then put the chord on or you can postpone the bass for after the note. Okay? Uh, that's what I meant. Um, but you, let's go over this line first. Okay, it's that's how it sounds like. So you're here. Okay. So five slide to seven, five again, and then bar the second fret. Got it? And then, uh, by the way, what I played was just three strings. I played the bass and then the G string and the B string. Okay? That's it. Just three notes out of the chord. You can play any three notes you want. Doesn't matter. As long as the bass note comes first, okay? That's the rule. You need the bass note to, to play the chord. So, okay? Um, and for those of you nitpickers who say you need the bass note to play the chord, you just played this. Yeah, but the bass note was D. It was G over D, so there was a bass note. Um, okay, so, um, enough rambling. Let's play this again, okay? D5 B minor And then the B string twice And then A with a high A note. You bar the second fret up to the fourth string. You bar strings one, two, three, and four and leave the A string open because you need the A bass. It's an A chord. And you use your pinky four, five on the E string. Okay, you have you have this. Okay? You have this. You bar the second fret and you add your pinky for the high A. Okay, so you actually have three A notes here. You have A, A, two on the G string, and A. Okay, so that's a pretty, that's kind of a piano feel as well, uh, but less so than this, because you have the notes dispersed, and here you have a block and one high note. Never mind, um, talking ear training here, but let's go back to the song. So, okay, so um, we were on B minor and we 
played the second string, and then we play A with a high A. Okay, and we fill the bar. We'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, the main thing to remember is that you play the A bass and the E string together. That's the main melody. Okay, so it's and then you fill the bar. And then two on the B string, okay, you're barring it, or you can bar the second string for B minor already, and you play B uh, the B string, you play two on the B string, and then you put on the B minor chord and you play this again. Okay, remember? You play that on the um, on the second line. Okay, pulling off three to two on the B string and playing the G string on four. That's your pinky. Okay, and then put your finger back and fill the bar, and then stop at the end of the bar and begin again. What I mean is, hey, not nice. So. Again, again. So the final uh, melody is this. No, let's begin with this. B minor, A, B minor. Don't forget to put the second finger back on. So from the top. It was B minor, A. We're gonna talk about filling the bars in a second. Just wanna go over the chords again. A. B minor. G. D5. Second fret, G again, D5 again, G again, G over D, D5 again, B minor, A, B minor. Now about filling the bars, um, you just Play whatever comes to mind. Let your fingers work it out. Now the simplest thing is to arpeggiate the chord. Just play the melody note and play the bass. Go up, go down. Something like this. Um, okay, just up and down. Now. Another option is to try and find some combinations. Don't be afraid to try any combination you can think of, like for example, the bass note and then strings 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Something like this. If it doesn't work, try something else, okay? The more you try, the more you'll, um, you'll learn to recognize the notes inside the chord and predict what you're going to play, okay? The main thing is to try new things. Now, for example, in the A chord, I sometimes do this, okay? Which is a nice cliche lick that I like to do. Okay, I just hammer on uh, the two, on the B string and pull it off again and then play another string and then hammer it on. Okay? Or just hammer it on. Or just pull it off. And hammer it on eventually because you need the chord. Um, and I don't know, I slide sometimes into chords. I just try new things. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I don't play it again. Okay, so for example, let's play it and fill the bars. A. B minor. Okay, just played 
a sequence of notes. And I played the second string, the first string, second string, first string at the end, because I don't know, that's what I wanted to do. That's my fi what my fingers wanted to do. And then... Okay? I could play this. And it would have worked. backwards back down and then just playing the, the open strings okay playing strings two and three just to emphasize the chord and give it a bit of contrast with the melody um, and now a bit of harmony playing the second string and the third strings together and then okay, just arpeggiating and picking strings together random strings you're putting on a chord anything you pick inside that chord will sound good okay the rhythm is more important than what you pick than what string you choose to pick okay and then back then you stop okay for emphasis and then you begin again and you're done so before you go please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already there's a ton of lessons already here and I take requests uh, though the request list is huge it's practically endless but I try try my best go download the tab from the website it's free as well as is everything on Lick and Ref, but you can uh, donate if you like if you want to give something back there's a donation button on the website any donation goes right back into Lick and Riff into making time to make these arrangements to film these lessons to edit them to upload them it all takes time um, so any donation helps and I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make right now you go and practice this get this under your fingers enjoy have a good time and let your friends know about lick and riff share this lesson share any of the lessons you like um, i'd appreciate it because music should be free for everyone and i'd like to help as many people as i can to learn how to play the guitar i'll see you the next lesson thank you for watching enjoy <laughs>